Cool. All right, we are going to make a smiley face plate. It's gonna be really fun. And I'm gonna go through the instructions pretty fast. Hopefully the kids will take much longer to do this. I'm gonna go on speed uh, version. So they're gonna cut out a circle. I'm gonna send these patterns and we'll just cut them apart and give one to each kid and let them cut out their circle. The next thing you're gonna do is make sure they get their name on the back of the plate with the special pencil. Um, I'm gonna write sample, but they're gonna write their name. And also we need to know which school it goes back to. So I need a code for your school. Um, Davidson will need a D, um, Fox Hill will be an FH, whatever the code is for your school so I know which school they go back to. Um, before you give the kids the white paint, you're gonna thin it down a little bit. You're gonna do it in um, about half strength because we don't really need it to be um, a thick layer. We just need it to cover the plate enough. I'm gonna take and stir that up. So it's about half paint, half water. Looks about like milk. And you do that before you gave it to the kids. Um, they are gonna take and put a coat of this on the whole plate. And this is just to keep the other colors from soaking in and also to act like a glue when um, they has put their um, smiley face circle down. Okay. All right, so they have painted the entire plate with this thin down white paint. Okay. They're going to dip their uh, circle in the water and they're going to stick it down on the middle of their plate and then just brush over to make sure that it's down tight. Okay. They can wash their brush out in the water. Get rid of the extra water by squeezing it out with their finger and drying it on a paper towel. The next thing they're going to do is paint the ent uh, entire plate red or blue or purple. We'll have some of all three of these colors in there. Red, purple, and blue. And I'm just going to demonstrate with the red. I'm going to paint the whole plate red. Okay. And I'm going really fast. Okay. Okay. The plates will look better if you put a second coat on. Again, I'm going very fast. Hopefully it's on fairly thin, I mean fairly smooth. You don't want it too thin, you just want it on smooth. Okay, they can wash their brush out in the water. And again, wring it out, squeeze it out so that the extra water, um, hope that's being shown, extra water's out and dry it on the paper towel. Then, they're going to use the wrong end of their little paintbrush to pick up the piece of paper off of there. And they have a circle there that they can paint in with yellow paint. Okay, paint in their yellow. Paint their smiley face. And again, Try and put it on smooth if you actually let it dry for a, just a minute or two and put another layer on. It will be a little better. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry for just a minute. Okay. All right. Okay. 
So they've got a nice yellow smiley face area to put the face on. Um, gonna use a very small paintbrush in the black to make their smiley face. Okay, and then rinse that brush out in the water, dry it on the paper towel, and use the wrong end to scratch in the red paint. Um, I'm going to write words around the rim. I'm going to scratch through the paint. Um, I'm thinking this paint's a little dry if the paint has dried too much. Um, hmm, okay, let's back up a second. And before we take the paper off and do the yellow, you could have them write their words or you can have them come back with a layer of red paint just along the rim now that we're ready to do the scratching because the paint needs to be a little bit damp in order to work for the scratching. Okay, so they can come back in, put another layer of paint on their rim, and then use the wrong end of this and write words like happy, and you just scratch through the paint. You have to push kind of hard. Happy. And you're talking about emotions. You could do confident. Confident. Okay. And just write as many words as they want of emotions all around the rim. Um, happy, let's see, worried. Okay. Um, if you don't want them to do words along the whole thing, they could actually create a border around the edge between some of their words. Okay, whatever they want to do to finish out the plate. <clears throat> and they will have a smiley face plate with words, design, whatever they want to do on the border. I think that adding a little bit of paint around the edge to make sure it's wet when they get ready to scratch will make it turn out better. Um, other than that, it's a really simple project. It will take the kids much longer than it took me to do this because you'll be doing it step by step and passing things out um, and you'll have a great time. Thank you. So I push stop.